and welcome back everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube we got part two now of our try hard rank up sunday stream we're still playing bannerman brahm we're seeing we're, we got to masters with uh day one or right uh part one and we're gonna see how high we can get into masters now with that lp the new um masters rating thing that just started uh, so yeah, we're go going with the same deck. It's still looking good. Lots of Demacia stuff. Lots of challenging. Uh, splashing Freljord for Omen Hawk and Braum. And especially how Braum with the Mighty Poro. Because, you know, like, Braum with Mighty Poro is two bodies that is 12 total power and health. And then whenever you go Bannerman on the two bodies, you add an additional four. And it's just a pretty nice combination. And so that's what we kind of have going on with our deck. Hope, hope y'all checked out part one. It looks like we're at 28 going on to part two. Noise! With the bits. <clears throat> Thank you, Noise. Noise saying, hi, YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Hawkeye. Huh? Thank you, Noise. The starting LP is zero. So we've gone up from... We were in Diamond, and then we got to Masters. We started zero, and now we're at 28. Like our first win, we were at 11, and then our second win, 23 or something like that. Or no, I think it was like 16, and then 33, and then we went down to 9. Uh, what is going on over here? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm keeping my hand. So we have three Shadow Isle, three... Hmm... Tracker hits harder. Three Shadow Isle, three um, PNZ. What's up, Grace Claw? Yeah, lots of ones and twos. We can try to get ahead. Yeah, I wonder if their whole deck will, will be Singleton. If they're playing like the you know like the Singleton Gauntlet. If they're just trying their Singleton Gauntlet deck and rank, that could be a thing. Uh, looks like looks like I'm gonna go Omen Hawk plus War Chefs. They'll just take out Tracker. I can keep them from taking out Tracker by going Protector, but then they take out Protector. I guess that's technically better. I guess. Thanks, Stormy. Alright, we'll shield the bird. And now we'll go Braum. Who knows? Who knows? If I challenge, if I challenge the Ezreal, I'm not even killing the Ezreal, and it gives them a really easy block with the Spiderling. This way, I'm kind of saying, you know, will you block with Ezreal? I don't know. It makes it more difficult to block. Either way, even if they kept, like, you know, Ezreal as a 1-3, my single combat with the 3-3 three, three could take it down. What Hmm. Hmm. 
wish I could kill that thrash. Opponents playing a uh, singleton deck. Left for a snack? Honestly, not sure what I want to do. Honestly, not sure what I want to do. Hey, Tumble Dog. We should play a singleton meme deck for Meme Tier Monday. We got this Monday. We are all, uh, we are all filled with decks. I wonder why would they not have the three three block the two two and the one one block the three four. Interesting. So I don't really need to use back to back right now. We'll just use the repost. Makes sense why they blocked like that. Take out both, both warships. Alright, Braum, we're gonna need you to keep doing some work for me. It's a good draw. So that's four of their six champions. They're doing a good job of drawing the champions. They got a Vi and a Heimerdinger left. I don't know if y'all know about Vi and Heimerdinger. Those champions are pretty good. Pretty good. You are safe with Play you. Nah, it's all this card. So six for Braum. Okay, Braum to take four more damage. Alright, so we're going to take down five of the champions. <laughs> no, that's not good. I guess not five of the champions yet. I just don't think that... I don't feel like Maokai is worth a concerted strike. I could be wrong with that. 
I don't feel like it is. I'll just save Concerted Strike with Fiora. Seven out of ten for Braum. Oh, there goes the Pursuit of Perfection. There goes Pursuit of Perfection. They would fall by my blade. They don't have that card anymore. Unless and they could generate it with something else. Who's gonna get in my way? I don't know. Anybody. So this is only going to be nine for Braum. Do they need our help? I think they. I mean, they could have Mystic Shot that does two damage, and then I save Fiora with Concerted Strike. Okay, so they are doing the three damage to Fiora, so I cannot save Fiora. Oh no! No! That is bad. My Braum dying at nine, you know, take nine damage. We're dying there. True Shot Barrage plus gotcha. That was pretty nice. Um. What you looking for? Yeah, I could have leveled up Fiora with the uh, Concerted Strike. I didn't end up doing it, but yeah, I could have. Got something for him. Just be impatient. Got your back. It is a virtue. They suddenly have their, you know, single ruination. Yes, that would be bad. <laughs> I don't know, they're, they're just having fun with their emotes. They're having fun. <laughs> okay. So we're going to... <laughs> they're having fun with it. We're gonna kill that thing. Mm, it's just better to use this and this. Definitely wish I would have just attacked with everything to start with. You know, I didn't did not play around Rasa, but that's that's the great part about playing Singleton is you have so many cards, um, so many different cards. The only champion they haven't played is Heimerdinger. We've already killed the other five champ, the other five champions. Do I just go for lethal? Strike 
<laughs> yeah, I'm playing. We're in master's rank. Hmm. Y'all say go for it. Don't know if it's that necessary to go for it. I long for a worthy opponent. Counter and strike. Yep. Yep, we reached masters. We were only two wins away at the beginning of the day, and so our first our first deck that we played. Another victory for House Laurent. Had to mute there at the end just to think a little bit. Our opponent was having fun. I don't I don't mind how many emotes they were doing. I I just, you know, muted them there at the, the very end, but they were having fun with life, you know, you gotta gotta let people have their fun. Can't be upset at that. I mean they're I'm not gonna emote a Braum wave to somebody playing singleton, you know, like I defeat somebody playing singleton. I'm not gonna show them up and be like Wow, look how great I am. I, I defeated you that you're playing singleton just because they're emoting a bunch. They're just having they're just having fun. Yeah, it's a game. It is a game after all. Yeah, yep. We were 10 and 0 with Zed Shen yesterday and that got us right on the door to uh, Masters. Because, yeah, we were starting yesterday, I was 17 wins away from Masters, you know, like where I need 17 more wins than losses. Um, and so, you know, even if you think about like every five, if you go three and two, which is a 60% win rate, we would have to do that 17 times going three and two to get there. But we had a 5 0 with the mid range Frostbite deck, and then we had a 10 0 with Zed Shen. And so we were right there. They would fall by my blade. Ash Braum. So playing Braum, not Sejuani. Braum, not Sejuani. You smell that? A bite to cook it. Wait, you think this is a game? Correct, Tizzle, yeah. To the base. Eat up, friend. Your move. Your move. So Elixir of Iron keeps them with a 3-2. We got to develop our board. They did not develop their board. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Yeah, I think not. Show them the way. Raise the banner. Let our spirits. I think not. No. Caught in the cold. Oh, what a card. Talk about something you don't see very often. Caught in the cold. Ouch. That's perfect. Perfect caught in the cold. I don't like the 3-2 attack on their side. Batter. 
was a perfect cotton cold. Can't fight on an empty stomach. The time is right. Strike now. All right, repose still being great. They should have the one mana five five. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's a six six because Omen Hawk. Okay, Anmo with the donation deck. Fearsome pursuit. Thanks, Anmo. I'll write that down. I haven't really done donation decks the last two days, and they're piling up again. Fearsome Pursuit. Alright, we're up to rank 65. Ash Sejuani, the deck that's likely the best deck in the in the format. This will be a, a tough test. This is probably the best deck. Back to back could be great. Triple Hawk. Is Triple Hawk gonna be overkill? I don't know. Yeah, what's up, Swear Slow? We did. After our first two games we reached Masters, we're now 5-1 uh, and one in Masters today. Victory requires a sharp blade. So we have Triple Hawk, Triple Fiora. Double Elmheart. Two, three of a kinds and a pair. To call themselves Trifarian. Let them eat so. Hold up. Many tribes under one banner. If only Fiora. They're kind of doing better, you know, using their mana better and stuff. I don't know if I was supposed to just throw down Repost that previous turn. Um, go Elmheart? No, because by Elmheart I don't get to Repost. Raise the banner! Lift our spirits! Our banner will lead the way! You're mine! Um... I'm gonna say Fiora and enable Fiora to like challenge like Sejuani. My strength is yours. I know. 
Should have Reckoning, which would be kind of rough, taking down, you know, being a three for one. Yeah, I could have blocked Sejuani and then reposted with, with the Bannerman. I was a little worried about uh, Brittle Steel in that scenario. Fiora makes sure that Elixir of Iron doesn't protect Sejuani. Alright, I gotta get three more points of damage in. Points of damage in. Always two steps ahead. Play reckoning. 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 Warm hearts and hot soup. Darn. Uh, where are we at? One out of five? Is that we would have done that, you know, in response to the reckoning and kill that thing. So they're at six now. Follow my lead. So attacking out wouldn't would not have been lethal. A true friend, will. Yeah. Fortunate. That's that's just a bad play. That's a bad play with that repost. It's a bad play. I shouldn't repost that. I should I should challenge and then force them to do something here. So like let's say they harsh winds here and here. Hmm. Sweet. I was, I was gonna. I was just gonna challenge the one. Just gonna challenge the one and, and go from there. And just keep playing for the. You know, keep whittling them down. Alright, so yeah, three. Turn, turns out three Omen Hawk. Not bad. Triple Omen Hawk, especially when you have Bannermen. Turn those Omen Hawks into two twos. Um, and then what, another Bannerman? Did we play two Bannermans? Or no, we had an Elm Heart that pumped it up to a 3 3. Alright, same matchup. Gonna be still going to be tough. I'm gonna mulligan Braum. I wouldn't normally mulligan Braum, but uh, I am worried about Braum plus. I'm worried about Culling Strike, the Braum. If we had, if they had the attack token turn one, I would lead with Tracker, where I could then have Protector or War Chefs on turn two. Instead, I'm just gonna get this Omen Hawk in right away. Smell that? A bite to cook it. I need just a moment. For glory, face me. Yep, absolutely, Anmo. There you go. Thanks, Grace Claw. 
and Candace and everybody. Yes. Okay. Uh, Milan says, can you explain quick attack? Sometimes I take damage even if I have a blocker. Sometimes you don't take damage or the blocker dies. The only the way that you take damage when you have a blocker, the only way you take damage is if they have overwhelm. You're covered. Not quick attack. Quick attack simply means that the unit with, with quick attack, while it's attacking, strikes before the blocking unit. If they have Overwhelm, Overwhelm will deal damage to the Nexus after uh, it assigns enough damage to be lethal to the unit that's blocking. If that blocker goes away, all of the damage with the Overwhelm will just go straight to the Nexus. This is where having too many Omen Hawks is kind of meh. I'm thinking about blocking and then going single combat and killing the 3-1, right? Like, that's what I'm thinking about doing. It's my consideration. I'm not going to. You're welcome, Ammo. Aw, oh, thanks, Masquerade. Yeah, that's... That's what we like. A nice, chill community. Yeah. No worries. Only the finest serve. So I've heard the 6-5 would I want like the 6-5 to trade with the 5-5 five five anyway, but so I didn't get rid of their 3-1 because I was thinking my 6-5 could like maybe take down their 3-1 and then still be able to trade with the 5-5. Five five. And that's still the goal. Frostbite cards can put a damper on our goal. That's our goal. Alright, see you tomorrow, Ammo. Yeah, Shen Fiora certainly works out well. Uh, let's see. Strength and grace, beauty. Could be me taking a bunch of damage. So let's say I just block like this. I take six. Everything just trades. Back-to-back -back doesn't... Like, you know, we can back-to-back -back the Fiora. Keep that alive. We can't save or save. Um, alternatively, I can back-to-back -back the Omen Hawk and have the Omen Hawk block the Trifarian and keep the 3-2 around. Try this. Yep, brittle seal's good. Sorry, right, so our Lancer killed their 3 1 and, or killed their 4 3, killed their assessor and traded with the brittle steel and got me Vanguard Lookout. That's the worst card to get. That is simply the worst card to get. I do wish I had one more mana and I could have the combat available. 
What's up, Cabo? Welcome back. You're already 3 0. Nice. What you playing? Winter, take you. That hurts. That hurts. Hey, what's up, Mr. Ding Ding? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all I've been doing for the last, like, decade was playing MTG, you know. Moved over here. Okay, let's, let's see what we're going to be doing. Um, we kind of have to kill them this turn. That's not going to be easy. Okay, well, that means that we aren't going to be able to do that. I can do 15 damage, can I? Single combat, have that fight there. Challenge, challenge. Elixir of Iron really hurts. I still had an out of winning this with the single combat Fiora kill and then challenge Fiora kill and then we draw um, Yeah, then we draw like concerted strike 
to be another kill. Like, I still had an out with that. But now, obviously, I don't. That hurt. We will regain what we have lost. Ouch. All right. 3 1. The deck's good. The deck's good. And, and I had two small of units at the beginning of the game. And we are facing it again. I think this probably is the best deck. I think it. I th actually think this is better than Noxus now. You know, like uh, ten days ago, I thought Noxus was the best. I think, I think this mid-range Frostbite deck is the best deck. Um, this time, I'm mulliganing the back-to-back. -back. I could see keeping Repost. Actually, I'm going to keep Repost. Repost comes in pretty clutch against against these larger units and with the challenge and stuff, and against Frostbite. Sure, I mean, it, yeah, like, there's times the Judgment is awesome with Fiora, but there's just a lot of times where that doesn't really work. And it's not something that I want to try to set up. And there, there's just a lot of times where Judgment doesn't really work, and um, I, I don't think it's that necessary. I mean, you could play one Judgment instead of one of the back-to-backs, but I think over over the long haul that Judgment will be a more... Or, sorry, the back-to-back will be a more effective card. And efficient card. A chill in the air. Batter him. Can't fight on an empty stomach. So, so far, it's just a one for one trade. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. I'm, yeah, I understand, Cabo. I'm, I'm still not convinced that. Captain Farron's necessary in this deck. It's, you know, whenever I played it yesterday, I didn't play Captain Farron. I am not convinced myself. Green Fang Warren's not too bad. It's better than Vanguard Lookout. <laughs> At least. It's better than that one. Man, double hearth card? That's so good. Oh, that card's good. That card's so good. Today we fight as one! We'll be able to take down Hearthguard with a Swiftwing Lancer that's buffed up. That's how we choose. Winter take you. Head to the face. Batter him. Oh, we are a four two, not a three one. Ugh. Can't 
right on an empty stomach. The War Mother will unite us all. Triple Hearth Guard. This is going to be tough to beat. This is going to be difficult. Let's take this outside. Triple hearth guard. Can you stomach this? Wish we had one more mana where I would be able to, you know, play war chefs and. You know, one of these and Bannermen. You know, be able to triple spell with those. Um, do I want to use Repost now? I don't want to single combat. That could that could really open me up to another Frostbite spell. Because if I go single combat with a 5 power and they have another Frostbite, then I could be getting a, a bad 2 for 1. Um, Alright, if we play Repost... Yeah, we're playing with those. While we don't kill their thing, having the five wing link, you know, I'm turning that four spell mana in that spell into a five one challenger, and a five one challenger is pretty useful. Um, I want the Gringfane Warden to be a four four or or a three three, or do I want? Fiora to be a 4 4. Could go Warden with the Scout. And then I untap by attack with Elmheart and Scout. Obviously, I'm going to go Bannerman. It's just it's just which one of these two do I want to play with Bannerman? Um, heck, I may not even. I guess. Save your worlds. We speak I guess we may games. not Scout attack. Yeah, that thing's kind of big. A symbol worth fighting for. I know. I do nine damage. Can't do nine damage. Yeah, triple Avaros and Hearthguard was really good for them. And that Brittle Steel was clutch. Uh let's see. I yeah, I can't for a worthy opponent. I can't win this. Can't beat this card. Show them our metal. These woods belong to us. Like my best play is this. Only six. Wish I had another repost. Now warden. I needed. I needed to make an elite that was like big enough that keep me alive or something. I don't know how I beat sixteen power. The answer is I can't. See 
I couldn't go wider last turn. I there was no there was no play. I was I had five units out. There was no play that whatever I did, if I did something and then they played Sejuani in response, my my turn was worse. There it didn't. There's nothing I could do. There was no go wider because you can only have five units and you can only have six units in play. There was nothing that got around Sejuani frostbiting one of my things. I don't I don't have a five health unit. I need a five health unit, but I guess it doesn't matter because they have Glory Seeker it. Hearthguard's amazing. Hearthguard definitely better than Cato. Would have rather that had triple Cato the arm, that's for sure. Than the triple Hearthguard. Five health. They had a good hand. Good hand. Again, I guess I guess we're just gonna only play against midrange frostbite. Is this four in a row for midrange frostbite? I think this is four in a row. It's hard to out midrange this deck when you know, like they draw all those extra cards with assessor and things in there. They have bigger units, they have better card draw, and they have better interaction. Um, better interaction with Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, Harsh Winds, that kind of stuff. What I have going for me is that I can... Um, I can have combat happen the way I want combat to happen. That's what I have going for me, is that I can initiate combat with all these challenger units pretty well, both attacking and defending. You're covered. For glory, you're mine. Love it. So playing the Fjord gives me a repost. Let us get going. I'm through waiting. Stand behind Rome. It is easy. So that's six for Braum. Not ideal. A chill in the air. Um, I take five. Five ones more valuable than Fiora. With me. Their pride will cost them. Uh, 
up. <laughs> Come on. Ugh, unreal. Stop having it all. I mean, I do have... I do have a lot more cards than them. They have been using a lot of cards to keep this happening. Only the Never mind. Serve. Never mind. Alright, we can still go repost. Line up. <laughs> oh, Trifarian Assessor is... Amazing. Simply amazing. I would not agree with the sentence that their deck feels bad if you don't draw Assessor at all. Their deck is very, very good, and if you draw Assessor, it is really busted. It's still very good without Assessor. Single combats have been kind of awkward, like they just don't, I don't get any good trades ever with single combat. Harsh wins they've had. That's two, you know, twice they had a just a great harsh wins with me attacking with with Elm Heart. Going to be getting Pain two for ones. Two really great harsh wins. Ride onward.
Like I said, Jumani's at 3 out of 5. Still a ways away from being leveled up. King, greetings. I like our deck a lot, but I think there's one deck that we're not favored against, and that's, that's this one. Born for conquest. Lost three times in a row to it. It is the best deck, the, the mid-range. That Frostbite mid-range, we beat it once and then lost three times. Um, you know, hopefully we can dodge it and start getting paired against some other stuff. But yes, yeah, so that was a 3-3. Three, three. That we just had there. Um, you, the only way we—I talked about this like with with all right. So we we played the Frostbite mid-range deck yesterday. Went 5-0, and even you know beat a couple of mirrors and everything. And, and you know I labeled the videos that it's good against everything. Um, and some so people asked in in the chat saying some decks that they, that they thought were favored against Frostbite mid-range being Anivia Brom. Heimerdinger and the Ezreal decks, and I don't think any of those are, are favored against mid-range Frostbite. I think that deck's better than all of those. What's up, King? Thanks, King Sneff. I think the the what what was favored against that deck before was the burn deck. Like whenever, um, you know, whenever there was Legion Rearguard, there was a three-two and Boom Crew Rookie. There was a one-four. That was the deck that was really favored against that mid-range Frostbite deck, um, and that was. And that was the deck that was everywhere, right? That, that was the most played deck, and that's what made playing that deck kind of rough. And then also some of the elusive decks are also kind of good against it. Um, you have to go under it. That's really how you beat that deck is going under. Going over not doesn't help so much. Um, sometimes some uh, some deep decks, like you can you can beat it with deep also that, that, that actually has bigger units. That's like the only one in your deck. Sorry, your deep deck's not so bad against Reckoning and stuff, but not always. You know, Harsh Winds, Culling Strike, you know, that kind of combo, it doesn't always work, but... Um, yeah, with Burn with burn going away and, like, Noxus Elusives was good, but now the Noxus Elusives also kind of got hit with the uh, Solitary Monk turning into a 3-3 instead of a 4-3. That was a matchup that was good against it. It's... Uh, that's that's the strongest deck. It really is. Um, but as you can tell, that's a really popular deck as we've been playing against it a lot. And I'm what I like doing is playing different decks that aren't so popular. And so you know we're going to be playing our Baron and Brom. We're going to keep playing it. We're going to go play another hour's worth of games here. You know, probably about another six games with uh, Baron and Brom. Hopefully, dodge some mid-range frostbite. Hopefully, um, I. I, yeah, I can't, I, I don't, I don't think Karma Ezreal is on the, the same, Karma Ezreal, like, we've talked about this before, that's a deck that I don't, I don't think is good much at all, every time I, I get paired against Karma Ezreal, I just think, yes, we get a win, every time I get paired against Midrange Frostbite, I'm like, no, it's gonna be a loss, um, I, I don't think that they're very comparable, at all now different people t will tell you different things you know like that's just the opinion that i have um i'm i'm one that maybe i you know i i play better against karma ezreal maybe than than some and and uh, maybe others will play better with karma ezreal but um i don't think that that's a that's the, that's a deck that i i love getting paired against i will play against that deck 
all day long with every and with any deck and be very happy. Uh, but the mid range frostbite that I I probably have like a I'm just making these numbers up. I probably have like an 80% win rate against Karma Ezreal and like a 20% win rate against Frostbite mid range just over the last week. Um, you know, it's yeah, that deck's really really good. All right, but we're gonna be playing. We're gonna keep playing. Um, I don't, I don't, and I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that like they need to go nerf something from that deck. So I don't. I don't really know what it would be. I'm not really saying that. Um, I'm just saying that that it's just you know really good combination of a whole bunch of stuff. You know, a bunch of a bunch of cards that are individually pretty good, but together they really work well together. Um. All right. Uh, that's part two here for Bannerman Braum. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know what you think of this format of focusing on one deck. Hope, hopefully, y'all are learning some stuff. We're going to be playing uh, one more video with it and seeing how high we can get into Masters. What's up? Thank you so much, Penguin. Thank you for that tier one resub there. Two awesome months. Thank you, Penguin. Okay. All right, uh, but that's it here for part two for Bannerman Brahm. I'll see you in a little bit for part three. Thanks for watching.